Shalom, Yashirelech, giving all praise and glory to the Most High, power of Abraham, Abraham Isaac, and Jacob. He's worthy to be praised for everything. Our Lord Yad, who is glorious in holy name. It's always going to start with Colossians 3 and 17. And whatsoever you do in word or deed, do all. Bahasham, Masyak, Yahushai. Give you thanks to the Most High and the Father. Bahasham, Masyak, Yahushai. We're going to go to Hosea, the sixth chapter. I'm going to deal with a lot of um, spiritual understanding today. Spiritual understanding. Hosea 6, and we're going to look at verse 4. Say, O oh, Ephraim. Ephraim represents the northern tribes. Understand. Ephraim was the head tribe of the northern tribes. O oh, Ephraim, what should I do unto thee? He said. Right? That's the northern tribe. Or northern nine tribes. Say, O oh, Judah. Judah represents the southern tribes. Three tribes, 12 tribes. O oh, Judah, what shall I do unto thee? Think about all 12 tribes of Israel. For your goodness is as the morning cloud. And as the early dew, it goeth away. You hear that? Your goodness is as the morning cloud, he said. A morning cloud, he said. And as the early dew, it goeth away. What's good? We know what's good. The laws of the Most High is good. The commandments of the Most High is good. Romans 7 to 12. Tell you all day. It ain't changing. That's why I said the things that I brought forth. If you remember these things, you'll see whenever you read your Old Testament, New Testament, going to still coincide with what you have learned, what these words mean. It said, listen, therefore have I hewed them by the prophets. See that? Therefore have I hewed them by the prophets. I cut them up. See the prophets, cut them up. I have slain them by the words of my mouth. Hear that? I have killed them by the words of my mouth. And thy judgments are as the light that goeth forth. The judgment is like the light that goeth forth, man. He telling you, for I desire mercy. I desire mercy. Mercy is not getting something that you do deserve and not sacrifice. So I wanted you to do what I said do. You know, and not so you don't have to sacrifice no animals to me. That didn't get rid, rid of our sins. That was just a sign because it tell you we require a sign. Give us a sign. Yeah, okay. Talk about these animals. It was something that was just a shadow of things to come. Who was a Mashiach that was child would come to deliver us from our sins and deliver us from our enemies from the hand of all that hate us. Having this mercy and grace only to the Israelites. You know? He said, Therefore have I hewed them by the prophets. I have slain them by the words of my mouth. You hear that? He said, Look, the words of his mouth, right? Understand, understand it. Woo. Woo. That's. I mean, uh, it is what it is. I mean, we have to understand and understand the fact of our matter that the Most High say He slain us by the words of His mouth. You better understand, y'all. Look at um, <laughs> Jeremiah twenty-three. Verse nineteen. Behold, the whirlwind of the Most High has gone forth in fury. In fury. Even a grievous whirlwind. It shall fall grievously upon the head of the wicked. Not upon the rise, upon the wicked. The anger of the Most High shall not return until he have executed, executed. Until he have performed the thoughts of his heart. When? In the latter days. We in the latter days now. Ye shall consider it perfectly. But see, people don't understand. Like we just had a... a a whirlwind hurricane came to California through the route of the Angelus Angel and Andreas Fox. The earthquake fought. And there was an earthquake. As he said, a whirlwind. That's of the most high. We visited the most high, that's why I say the northern tribes, southern tribes, everybody get it. Ain't nobody excluded from it. Nobody's excluded from it. Understand, overstand this. Because he said, hey, the anger of the Most High shall not return until he have executed, until he have performed the thoughts of his heart, his mind. In the latter days, within the last days, y'all, you shall consider it perfectly. But understand, man, this is real. This is real as real could be. You can't get no realer than this. That's why I say, look, he bring it, he said, hey, Hosea 6 and 6. He said, I desire mercy and not sacrifice. Understand, understand this. He said, I desire mercy and not sacrifice. 
in the knowledge of the Most High more than burnt offerings. Now, he said he desired the, the knowledge of the Most High more than sacrificing animals for the atonement of our sins. That's why he said in Hosea 4 and 1, hear the word of the Most High. Hosea 4 and 1. Ye children of Israel, talking to us, known to try southern trash, for the Most High have the controversy with the inhabitants of the land. Why? Because there is no truth. He hadn't told us that. What's the truth? Psalms 119, 142. That righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. Hear the word of the Most High, ye children of Israel, twelve tribes of Israel, Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Simeon, Zebulon, Ephraim, Manasseh, Gad, Reuben, Nap, Reuben, the Thalde, Asher, and Issachar. Come on, man. The twelve tribes of Israel. Hear the word of the Most High, ye children of Israel, ye twelve tribes of Israel. For the Most High have the controversy with the inhabitants of the land. No matter where we at. Why? Because there is no truth. Because the laws of the Most High are not being applied. Men are not applying them enough. Women are not applying them enough. They're not teaching them to the children. They don't know about them, so they're doing whatever they want to do, how they want to do it, in their own worlds. No mercy, like he just said. What did he say? For I desire mercy. What did he say? Hear the word of the Most High, Hosea 4 and 1. Ye children of Israel, for the Most High has a controversy with the inhabitants of the land, wherever we are. As a Torah tries, because there is no truth. The laws of the Most High are not being forth, bringing forth. No mercy. Like he said, he desired mercy. No mercy in the land. No knowledge of the Most High in the land. Most High speak once, yea, twice. Here it is again. Hosea 6 and 6. For I desire mercy and not sacrifice. And the knowledge of the Most High, the knowledge of the Most High, not Mother Nature, El Nino, La Nina, global warming. Come on now. Knowledge of the Most High, more than burnt offerings. Hey, the Bible said, talk about the Most High. You can't, you ain't dealing with the Most High. You deal with the Most High if you can't even show him. All we have to go by is the Bible. That's all we have. Not your own mind. Make it up your own power. It don't work like that. But they, like men, have transgressed the covenant, transgressed the Most High's laws that he wrote with his finger. There have they dealt treacherously against me. You hear what he said? There have they dealt treacherously, no matter where we were at. We dealt treacherously against the Most High. Man. Until this day. And we'll come up with an excuse. We'll come up with a way to justify ourselves. When he tell you, therefore have they dealt treacherously against me. And you tell me, he don't know what he's talking about. He said, therefore, how they dealt treachery against me. That's why he said, look, look that's why he said it. In, in, in the last scripture of chapter 5, he said, you know, I did a whole lesson on this. Hosea 5, 15, he said, I will go and return to my place. Till when? Till they acknowledge their offense. How we, till we acknowledge how we offended the most high. And you can't say you're bottom if you ain't a bottom. You can fake it all you want to, but eventually the Most High going to visit you and tell you in Hebrews 10.31 it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of living power. The Most High. But you can think you escape it all you want to, this, that way, that way, whatever, whatever. And most people are going to point the finger at somebody else like, like Adam did, like Eve did. You know? You know, Satan didn't point the finger at nobody. He just go, he just took the judgment. Cause he know he got, he know who he at on the left hand side, and all them on the left hand side with him ain't nothing you can you can't point to forget nobody, cause you rolling with him. It's as simple as that. That's why I say I'm gonna return to my place. He said I will return to my place. He he Hosea five fifteen. He said I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense. Come on man, you gotta see this. To acknowledge our offense. How can you think you, you have offended the most high if you're not really doing the things and yet it's necessary being in this truth to not offend him and seek my face? How you gonna seek his face if you don't talk about him? You ain't about him. You ain't never everything you talk about is you. You, 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 me, 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 the world, the world, the world. This, that, and the third, whatever. That's the devil. Or prove me wrong. That's Satan, because that's what he offered you. 
He started out with WWW, which is 666. Everybody, we looking at dealing with WWW, making it righteous. You hear my voice, you looking at something that's coming across WWW, 666, for righteousness, representing the Most High, and the Mashiach Yahweh Shai, and the 12 tribes of Israel, straight up. That's why he said, I will return to my place till they acknowledge their offense. Come on. Jeroboam made two calves. One wasn't enough. He made two calves to just who brought us out of Egypt. I don't want to say leave them alone. They deal with idolatry. And Judah ain't do no better. You just heard him say it. No other tribes and southern tribes. You think about it. You see what he done. We see what he did in Egypt. All the things he did in Egypt to the Egyptians. He didn't touch us. And as fast as he he did it, fast as we forgot. Crying to him, we see chariots, the Pharaoh's chariots coming. Ah, oh, we gonna die, Moses! You brought us out to the wilderness. Every time you look right, we was knowing about murmur, 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 murmur. You can look at man all you want to, but it's the Most High you gotta deal with straight up. Cause we like to point the finger at somebody, but when you love somebody and you dealing with, I can Most High love us, and we made him cry. That's why he said all the things he's going to do with you. better open up this Bible and know him. I'll tell you that. Because he visited this earth. But you ain't seen the judgment of the Most High yet. He said whatever he's done, ain't the judgment. Because remember he said all the nations, they ain't seen this judgment. We didn't see this judgment as the Israelites. You mean, where we at now? In Hosea. What captivity are we in? We in captivity. Straight up. Look what the Most High said. I will go and return to my place. Hosea 5.15. Till they acknowledge their offense. And seek my face. Because he turned his back on us. Now what makes him turn his back toward you or me or anyone else if we not really promoting him? Ain't talk about him. How does it that your whole conversation, everything about you is mainly me, 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 I, 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 or what this world, this world, that world, that world, that world, that world, this world, that world, but it ain't him. His name is jealous. I don't understand why people can't hear this, man. To they acknowledge their offense and seek my face. Say whatever, but I'm promoting him right now. And I have many times of the week that I promote nothing but the most high while Mashiach Gavashai Baha Shalom Mashiach Gavashai. And that's what I'm being an example of what he's saying here. How you seek his face? You seek his face because he turned his back on you. So you want him to turn your, his back towards you to bless you. This is easy. Do what he said, do. In their affliction, in their affliction, they will seek me early. How much affliction we got to have before we realize, man, how off we are. Man. Look, Hosea 5 and 7, this is what he say. They have dealt treacherously against the Most High. They have dealt treacherously against the Most High. For they have begotten strange children. Now shall a month devour them with their portions. Mm -hmm. Look what it says. Verse 5. And the pride of Israel, that is to tell you, Israel, Israel, the, the, Israel, the northern tribes, very, very prideful. The pride of Israel does testify to his face. Therefore shall Israel and Ephraim, the northern tribes, fall in their iniquity. Not only that, he said, Judah also shall fall with them. We've seen what the Most High did. And we still fail with them. Why? Because we fall into iniquity, wickedness. Not doing what he said do. We ain't seeking his face. We seeking something else. These religions and so forth, or they own your own mind. That's why I said he cleans out 324, for many are deceived by their own vain opinion. And an evil, which is the devil, suspicion overthrowing their judgment. Come on, man. How long will it take before you understand what it is that the most high is saying? That's why I said Hosea 4 in 17. Ephraim, the northern tribes, he said, is joined to idols. He said, leave him alone. Let him alone. You know, leave him alone. 
That's why it's so hard for them, whoever they are, to come back to the Most High. That's why I say Judas is lawgiver. I mean, you look at, man, come on, come on, come on. You got to hear this. You got to hear this. You got you to gotta lock here. This is really serious, man. We're in the last days. There's only a few things that got to happen that's happening right before my face. Maybe not yours. That's written in these prophecies. Hey, it's going to be on. Go to Romans, the fifth chapter. I mean, Euphrates rivers are already, I just did a lesson on that. It's dried up. I'm a getting. See, it's a path for the kings of the east to go through. Go to the valley of decision. It's on its way. It's knocking on the door. I mean, what y'all gonna do when he come for you? Romans 5. Romans the fifth chapter. And we're gonna start at verse 12. Romans 5 and 12. Wherefore, as by one man, Adam, sin entered into the world. Look, Adam. You need to treat life and live forever. We had paradise. We was in paradise. He said, hey, that one man, Adam, sent it into the world. What is sin? You got to identify this. Maybe we have to do it over and over again because a lot of people don't, they say we're not under the law. So that means that they don't sin. You ask them what sin is, according to the Bible, they don't know. First John 3 and 4. Whosoever committed sin, it's the definition of sin transgresses also the law the law for sin is the transgression of the law now we gotta look at we gotta look at this go to exodus 24 and 12. so sin is the transgression the breaking of the most high's laws now i'm gonna show you about the most high who i love exodus 24 and 12. so you know that when you're not doing right, as a man, woman, child, you're breaking this law. Exodus 24 and 12. The Most High, and the Most High said unto Moses, Moses went up to get the commandments, come up to me and to the mount and be there. Come up to me and be there. That's why it's going to take patience. You got to be patient. He said, come up to the mount, that's the mountain, and be there. He said, be there. And I will give thee tables of stones. That's the most that I is the most high. He said, I will give you tables of stone and a law. I will give you tables of stone, Moses, and a law. And commandments which I have written. And commandments which I have written. And commandments which I have written. That's the most high. That I is the most high. Have written. The same one that you say that you don't have to follow. That he said, I have written the work of the Most High, that thou may have teach them, that thou may have teach them, that thou may have teach them, right? So now, not only that, go to Exodus 31 and 18. Exodus 31 and 18. Exodus 31 18. And he gave unto Moses, when he had made an end of communing with him upon Mount Sinai, two tables of testimony, tables of stone, listen, written with the finger of the Most High. Two tables of testimony, tables of stone, written with the finger of the Most High. The same Most High that you say, you don't have to follow what it is that was written with the finger of the Most High. Y'all got to hear what I'm saying. Anybody say, we ain't got to follow, we ain't not under the laws. These laws were written with the finger of the Most High. These commandments were written with the finger of the Most High, the work of the Most High, y'all. Don't let anybody mislead you. This is serious as serious can be, man. I better hear what he's saying. Look. Look at Exodus 32 and 15. And Moses turned 
and went down from the mount. Israel with Israel made a molten calf. A golden calf. It's this who brought us out of Egypt. This is our people. And Moses turned and went down from the mount, and the two tables of the testimony were in his hand that the Most High had written with the finger of the Most High. The tables were written on both their sides. These same laws and commandments you say we ain't under. On the one side and on the other were they written. Written on both sides. And the tables were the work of the Most High. And the tables were the work of the Most High. The same work of the Most High you say we ain't got to follow. You post up even preachers. And the tables were the work of the Most High. And the writing was the writing of the Most High. Graven upon the tables. Now what you got to say now? That's why I must say what I said to you. Matthew 5, 19. So all you preachers out there that's saying, well, you Gentile know, you're on, you're on point because he didn't give you the law. But you are the Israelites, and we've been out here long enough. We ain't no secret. We ain't no corner no more. We, we on social media. We on the corners dropping this truth. So it ain't like we ain't invisible. Invisible just to you, you preachers that are saying that we ain't under the law, and you know you're an Israelite. This ain't no secret. You call yourself a Gentile, okay? You say you ain't under the law, you're gonna get be judged. That's why he said Matthew 5 19, whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments and shall teach me so. That's like we ain't under the law, we ain't under the commandments. That's what y'all doing. He shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. Now, y'all better hear what it's saying. Because all you that's following, those that say we ain't under the commandments, we ain't under no law, you're going to be the least in the kingdom of heaven. But whosoever shall do the commandments, do the laws, and teach them, that's the commandments, that them is the commandments and the laws of the Most High, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. You see that? It's simple. But I say unto you that except your righteousness, you keeping the law, such commandments of the Most High, shall exceed the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees, that you know, they call themselves dealing with the laws and the commandments. In Moses, sitting in Moses' seat, right? He said, but he said, except your righteousness, you keeping the laws, test commandments of the most high, shall exceed. Exceed. This work, y'all. You can't take this lightly. The righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees. I mean, they were trained in the law and the prophets. Because that's all they had to go by. But what else they had to go by when they lived? Hmm? They had to go by the law and the prophets. That's it. Like Amash Shah, he went by the law and the prophets. That's why he didn't come to destroy the law and the prophets. That's all he had to go by. That's why I say, for I say to you, this is Shah telling you, telling them that except your righteousness shall exceed the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees, ye shall in no case enter into the kingdom of heaven those are orders those are directions those are, those are guidelines to look at so I looked at the scribes and Pharisees said well it can't be like them come on you know because you can be caught up in following someone that's leading you right to hell that's still the scribes and Pharisees right now and some others say okay you're scribes and Pharisees you can't prove it you can't prove it. There's too much of the most I done brought forth to show how they are. I don't do lessons on that. Look it up. Like he's saying, you got your, your righteousness, your keeping of the most highest commandments, your keeping of the most highest laws got to exceed the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees, man. Don't think just because you know some scriptures you done made it. We ain't made it nowhere. He said, did not make that show one of the numbers. Said the righteous guess is gonna be saved. I can't say it enough. Keep put myself there. I'm not putting myself there. We got too much work to do. You know, I'm 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 just like Ezra and all the rest of the prophets said, hey, paradise over to us, but yet we ain't gonna make it because we doing all these doing this and doing that and doing this and doing that in error. Come on. We just learn how to read. All of a sudden now you know remember memorize some precepts, you went to school, body got probably Decent grades. I hear you got coming to the truth. Now you memorize some precepts. Now you put yourself in the kingdom. He said, dare not make that self one of the number. 
If you that wanted that number, then tell me what number you are out of 144,000. I know y'all don't like me for say, asking you that, because but it's something you need to think about to be humble. For real, for real. Most high would have broken the contrite spirit. What part of that you gonna deal with reading the most high? Stand before the most high with your prideful self. Come on, I've been there, done that, now I'm changing. That's what born again is about. Changing, changing, changing. That's why I'm so hype about the most high right now because people not, you ain't talking about them, hey, you're in the bottom. Why should you got my shepherd say come and, and deal with you in a righteous way that you think he's supposed to deal with you and you ain't even talking about him? He ain't even your vocabulary. Come on, make that make sense. That's why I said in verse 17, think not, don't even think that I am come to destroy the law. That's all he had to go by. Or, Come on, I'm asking y'all, comment. Y'all always got something to say about everything else. Comment to show me that he, when he was on the earth, he was reading out of Revelation when he went to the temple. Paul's writings, Peter's writings. Peter, Peter, a uh, 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 disciple. <coughs> he didn't become an apostle until after Acts the second chapter. Oh, he kept saying, how, much I, how long was I suffering you? You, you don't under, have no understanding? He was right there teaching them. Now you're teaching and teaching and teaching and teaching and teaching and they don't get it. That's what he said, don't you think that I come to destroy the law or the prophets? That's the Old Testament, y'all. I am come, I am, I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. And fulfill what was written about him to suffer for the sins of the 12 tribes of Israel. Read your Bible. Read Acts 5, 30 and 31. It said repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. Come on. He said, verse 18, for verily I said unto you, truly I said unto you, till heaven and earth pass, heaven and earth is still here. One jot or one tittle and shall in no wise pass from the law that the Most High, we just read it, wrote with his finger, the work of the Most High, y'all, till all be fulfilled. That the Most High said gonna happen. Not then, eh? You gonna find out. Go back to Acts, Romans 5, I digress. For now, <laughs> Romans 5 and 12. Wherefore, as by one man sin entered into the world, Adam, Moses said, said, Hey, you're in paradise, man. You can eat of the tree of life and live forever. Don't eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Don't go over there dealing with the devil. Don't go over there dealing with Satan. Don't go over there dealing with the dragon. Don't go over there dealing with the beast. Don't go over there dealing with the spirit of Satan that people have in coming in this earth as representing the evil. Hmm. Don't do it. But no, what did he do? He went to the devil. That's why you women got to be aware. They talk about you. He talk about you. You got to be aware. You got to rebuke him. Or you rolling with him. Come on, how are you about the Most High? And you, you, you ain't talking about them. Think about it. I mean, you got to understand this. This is not hard to understand. This is not hard to understand. This is real easy. You talk about everything else? I'm just saying, I say that because I talk to men and we always talk about this Bible. We always talk about Most High. We in it, we in it, we in it, we in it, we in it. We in it. You can, you can hear the conversations, it's like, bam, 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 bam. I want women to be feeling the same way, man. So that you can be saved from your enemies and from the hand of all that hate you. Romans 5. Wherefore, as by one man sinner into the world, and death by sin, say, will they you eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil? Ye shall die. You ain't gonna live a day. Ain't on a day to the most out of a thousand years. Ain't nobody lived that long. And so death passed unto all men, for that all have sinned. Hear that? And for that all have sinned. And we've seen sin is a transgression of the most high's law. But unto the law, sin was in the world. But sin is not imputed where there is no law. You see? That when law is not there, sin is not imputed. Because you have to think about what's right from wrong. That's, is that why they said, hey, we're not under the law. We're under mercy and grace. Sin is, sin is not imputed when there is no law. No. Right now, that's before this truth has become prominent in this earth. 
There's no excuse for anyone now. We're in the last days, y'all. Y'all better understand. Nevertheless, death reigned from Adam to Moses. Death reigned to, from Adam to Moses. Because Adam did what he did, and Moses, till, till, till Moses came on the scene, and we went to the wilderness, the Most High started showing us his laws, giving us his laws again. Through Moses. Even over them that had not sinned, after the similitude of Adam's transgression, even of them that which had not sinned and not had broken the Most High's laws, after the similitude of Adam's transgression, what he did in breaking the Most High's law, he told him, "Hey, look, this is easy. He said, hey, man, First John five and three said what? For this is love of the Most High that we keep His commandments. Commandments are not grievous. You ain't supposed to be sad to do us right. Who is the figure of Him that was to come? Yeah, He's a figure of Mashiach of Shai, which is to come." Need the first Adam, much outside the second Adam. Adam was in the flesh. Look, much outside of the spirit, but the Most High, but not as the offense. Excuse me, but not as the offense. So also is the free gift, which is the spirit of the Most High. For if through the offense of one Adam, many be dead, die because of what he did. So you're gonna die if you eat it. If you if you take of the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the tree of knowledge of good and evil, which they did. Adam did much more the grace which is getting something that you don't deserve of the most high and the gift of by grace and the gift by grace getting something you don't deserve which is by one man Hamashiach Yahushua him dying for the twelve tribes of Israel sin have abounded unto many that many is the one third of the twelve tribes of Israel don't get it twisted and let me show you right there, right quick I, I, I quoted it let me go there Acts 5 30 and 31, so you'll know how he suffered for the 12 tribes of Israel's sins. And show me where you can bring any other nation, because Israel is a nation. Acts 5, 30. The power of our fathers, the most I said his name is the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You know that from Acts 3, 13. The power of Abraham, this is the most I's name and of Isaac and of Jacob, the power of our fathers. See, so that's his name forever and memorial to all generations. So now going back to Acts 5 and 30, the power of our fathers, the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Raised up a Mashiach Yahushai, whom ye slew and hanged on a tree. Wickeders like gave him over to the Romans, the so-called Italians, and they put him to death. Him that the most I exalted, with his right hand, or you're on the right hand side of the Most High, to be a prince, that's under the Most High, and a savior, a savior for someone, for to give repentance to Israel, not to anyone else, and forgiveness of sins. You see? But everybody want to try and put themselves in there. No. If you're not an Israelite, you're not of the 12 tribes of Israel, he's not your power. You say the power of who? Our fathers, who was the power of Abraham, who had a son named Isaac, who had a son named Jacob. But Abraham had Ishmael before he had Isaac. Most I didn't choose Ishmael. Ishmael, he chose Isaac. And Isaac had Jacob and Esau. But he chose Jacob. He didn't choose Esau. And many other sons that you look at that came into this world from uh, even back to Noah, Shem, Am, and Japheth. Most I chose Shem. He didn't choose Japheth. He didn't choose Ham. He chose Shem. And out of Shem came many nations, but he chose the Israelites. Point blank. Romans 5. And verse 16. And not as it was by one that sinned, so is the gift. For the judgment was by one to condemnation. But the free gift is of many offenses unto justification. If you're going to, just free gift is the, you being able to come into the knowledge and understanding of the Most High's word to have the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of the Most High. The justification, meaning justified, that's why I say justified, the glorified, the sanctified, the many, the called, the all, the chosen, the remnant, the elect, all these names are part of the one third of the 12 tribes of Israel that's going to be redeemed from this earth. To be justification is dealing with the Most High's commandments to be able to be justified in your actions, Most High will, before the Most High when the judgment comes. For if by one man's offense, death reigned by one, Adam, much more 
they which receive abundance of grace, abundance of not getting something you do deserve. Let me make sure you understand this. Because y'all be talking about y'all and the grace a lot. Who is Romans talking to? The book of Romans talking to? Romans 1 and 7. Let's, let's get this understanding right quick. To all that be in Rome, be loved of the Most High, called to be saints. Grace to you and peace from the Most High, our Father. You already said he the power of who? Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And Jacob's name was changed to Israel. And Israel became the forefather of the 12 tribes of Israel, who we are. Or somebody need to be able to come forth and challenge that. That the Most High is the power of all these other nations. The Most High said he the power of Abraham, Ishmael and all his sons, Abraham, Isaac, and Esau and all his sons, or anyone else that came from Shem, Ham, or Japheth. It's not there. It's not in this Bible. So who is the book of Romans talking to first and foremost? Listen, Romans 1 and 7, to all that be in Rome, be loved of the Most High. Who's to be loved of the Most High? Real quick. But Luke 336. We gotta make it clear so that there's no and ifs or buts about it, because you got people going around trying to bring themselves into the realm of what these scriptures are talking about and who they're talking to. If it's not talking to you, it ain't about you. This is to everybody that hear my voice and hear the word of the most high. It ain't to no one individual because it start with me first. And then you, whoever can hear. Listen, this is beloved of the Most High. Baruch 3, 36. He have found out all the way of knowledge and have given it unto Jacob, his servant, and to Israel, his beloved. There it is. Israel, his beloved. Show me where the Most High said he loved anybody else but Israel, the Israelites. In his Bible. See, these, these are things that we've been uh, fooled and bewildered in their witchcraft, sorceries, multitude of sorceries. And sometimes it's probably hard for you to really realize it because it's normal. It's normal. They put it across the airways and you're going into what you're dealing with. That's what I say. They, look, television, right? It's television. But it's tell a lie to your vision. So now they got it on the internet. You spend all your time with the world or the internet and not knowing who the most high, how are we gonna save you? How are you gonna redeem you? And you say, okay, what's more important? Like I say, where your heart is, there your treasure is. Where your treasure is, there your heart is. That's your mind and what you're thinking about. You gotta put this in you to receive this. It take time. You, I'll tell you what, you went through Esau curriculum. Every last one of them, you got a high school diploma. You went on to, to, to university or college to get a degree. You put all that time for him. They gave you tests. They gave you questions you had to deal with every week or whatever, whatever, whatever. You put all that time in for him. Now, what about the most high? This is learning. This is learning, ever learning. Hopefully, you'll come to the knowledge of the truth. But they say, ever learning, not coming to the knowledge of the truth. That's why it's very important. Listen, back to Romans 1 and 7. Who is Romans, the book of Romans, talking to? To all that be in Rome. Romans 1 and 7. To all that be in Rome, beloved of the Most High. You say, Israel, my beloved. We just heard it. We just heard it. This is what it said. Called to be saints. Uh-oh, who the saints? This is how you figure it out. This ain't, this is, this is easy. Who the saints? Y'all should know this. Who the saints? I'm going to start giving a test, man. I'm going to start I'm working, working, working. I'm going to start letting, making y'all work. See where you at. Who's who really studying? Because if not, then what's the point? Psalms 148.14. He also exalted the horn with the power of his people. We're looking at the definition of the saints. The praise of all his saints. What's the definition of the, what's the, definition of the saints? Even of the children of Israel. Who are we? A people near unto him. Praise ye the most high. So the saints are the children of Israel. Now look what it says. Romans 1 and 7. We ain't finished yet. To all that be in Rome. 
everyone that's in Rome, beloved of the Most High, the beloved of the Most High are the Israelites called to be saints. We just define the saints, right? Even of the children of Israel, the 12 tribes of Israel. This is what it says. Grace to you. Grace to you. Who the grace for? Because y'all say y'all under grace. Who the grace for? This is probably why the prophet took the Apocrypha out. Wisdom of Solomon. This defines who the grace is for. Wisdom of Solomon 4 and 15. And you write down Wisdom of Solomon 3 and 9. You know, also. This who defines who the mercy and grace is for. Wisdom of Solomon 415. This the people saw and understood it not. Neither laid they up this in their minds that his grace and mercy is with his saints. We just define the saints in Psalms 148, 14. His grace and mercy is with his saints. So you're not of the 12 tribes of Israel. You don't, you're not, <laughs> you're not receiving grace and mercy. The grace and mercy is with his saints, the 12 tribes of Israel, and that he had respected to his chosen who are the 12 tribes of Israel. So there it is. Okay, so we know that now we know that Romans is talking first and foremost to the 12 tribes of Israel. Now let's go back to Romans 5. And let's continue. Verse 17. For if by one man's offense death reigned by one for what Adam did, much more they which receive abundance of grace, abundance of grace, abundance of Getting something you don't deserve. And of the gift of righteousness, the gift of righteousness shall reign in life by one Mashiach Yahushua. So what's the gift of righteousness? The gift of righteousness, we know what righteousness is. What's righteousness? The gift of coming back to the most, this is a gift. The Holy Spirit bring all things back to what? Your remembrance, your mind, the way you think. The gift, just a gift. To be able to learn this and know this and learn this, live it and apply it in your life, man. This is a gift. Deuteronomy 6.25 defines righteousness. And it shall be our righteousness. If, this condition, we observe to do all these commandments before the Most High, our power, as He have commanded us. That's righteousness. To do the commandments, to follow the laws of the Most High. It's a gift. This is a gift that the Most High gave us. You know what I mean? That's why the water to the Most High, man. But well, long us to come back to his rules and regulations, his laws, and commandments. This ain't easy. Now for our people, those that realize ain't grievous. You're going to love to do it. it. Should be something natural that you just do. Without a shadow of a doubt. And we got this grace through a Mashiach of Shai dying so that we not sacrificing animals no more for the torment of our sins, which didn't take away our sins in the first place. Therefore, as by the, excuse me, verse 18, therefore, as by the offense of one judgment came upon all men to condemnation. But what Adam did, you see? And understand this, women, because you're always talking about, we always talking about what Eve did. Yeah, what Adam, just talking about Adam. He said about Eve. So have a prayer about that. Have a fit about it talking about Adam. Like y'all do about, oh, the man should have knew about He's talking about Adam. You see? But we know Eve brought it to Adam and Adam sinned. He should have said, hey, no, get out of here. I'm not dealing with that. You see, when women that have a Gentile state of mind, you got to correct them. Or they blood going to be on you. As it is written. That, but he's talking about Adam here. Therefore, as by the offense of one, that's Adam. Judgment came upon all men to condemnation. Condemned us, man. Even so, by the righteousness of one, the free gift came. By the righteousness of one, the free gift came through a Mashiach Yahushua being an example who did not sin, who did not transgress the most high law, statute, commandments, who did not break his rules and regulations as an example for us to know that it could be done while he suffered just like and was tempted just like everybody else when he came on the earth. By one, the free gift came. 
unto, upon all men unto justification of life, man. To live forever. That's why Baruch, Baruch 4, 1 says in the Apocrypha, it says, look, this is the book of the commandments of the Most High. And the law that the Most High wrote with his finger that we read earlier, the work of the Most High, that endureth how long? Forever. You mean to tell me the Most High changed? I'm keeping his laws? No. No. Y'all better fear the Most High before it's too late. This is the book of the commandments of the Most High and the law of the Most High that endureth how long? Forever. All that that keep it shall come to life. You hear that? All that keep the laws of the Most High, the commandments of the Most shall come to life. But such as leave it shall die. You're gonna throw your butt in the lake of fire? People playing around with this like it's like it's some game or something. This is serious. And you about them then hey, you gonna just like hey, Macho said call him. You gonna see what he said. People ain't really knowing this Bible, don't understand. Got in your feelings, man. You better get out of that. Men and feminine. Feeling their feelings and so forth. I'll be out there like, man, women looking at me, you are the man. I'm talking to the man. They look, I say, man, ain't you hear me talking to you? Why your woman looking at me? What's going on in the world today? I mean, come on. Men ain't being men. I don't know if it's in the food. I don't know what the hell is going on, man. But it's like, man, men, men talk. Talk to no white man's woman. Talking to men. Men with men. Speaking like men. We brothers. Come on. This is the book of the commandments of the Most High and the law that endure forever. All they that keep it shall come to light. But such as leave it shall die. He's going to kill you. Listen, turn the old Jacob. Why say turn? Because we went away from the law. Just like right now, we just read, learn how to read, man. And read with comprehension. You got those that's against us being who we are. And they can't prove that anybody else fit the description of what we going through and what we have been through and what we got to go through in the future. And what he says going to happen in this earth, prophecy-wise, where they at? Where they at that's bringing forth this truth of these other nations? I read in Wisdom of Solomon 4, uh, 5 and 7, when salvation come on this earth, it said, we weird ourselves in the way of wickedness and destruction. We've gone, yeah, we've gone through deserts where they lay no way. As for the way of the Most High and the Most High going to shine, we have not known it. So why are you going to waste your time with those that's not going to ever know the way of the Most High? And they're telling you what to say. Like I said, the Bible's the past, the present, the future. They tell you what's going to happen in the future. And what people are going to be saying, man. As they're looking up at us, going up in the sky, Most High will. If we worthy to be up there. If not, then hey, whoever it is of Israelites that's going to be going up in the sky. Going up in there while he, till he brings this eagle nation on this earth to destroy it in an hour. What they're going to be saying? Come on. Did I ask somebody? It's right here. That's why he told us, this is the book of the commandments of the Most High. And the law that endureth how long? Forever. Nobody tell you ain't none of the Most High's commandments and laws. You hear commandments and laws right in this one scripture. Endureth how long? Forever. That's why you got a man got to learn the order of man. Woman got to learn the order of a woman. And children got to learn the order of children. And deal with their parents and so forth. That's the first a commandment of promise honor thy father and thy mother you know and people got to learn how to respect elders elderly people man and especially elders that's bringing forth this truth it said get double honors when you're working in this truth in this word of the most high man people don't that's sin you don't that's sin and the most high gonna deal with you i've seen it over and over and over again but you can warn people but hey i'm one of our nation man Straight up. Turn the old Jacob and take hold of it. Walk in the presence of the light thereof that thou mayest be illuminated. You're going to be shining bright. By doing what? Turning the people to the laws of the Most High. What's right and what's wrong, man? Come on. This ain't, this not hard. We just, we just want to find a way to do our own thing. Enroll with Satan. The God of this world. Power of this world. Lamentation 2 and 1. Lamentation 2 and 1. How hath the Most High covered the daughter of Zion with the cloud and his anger? Hear that? 
how the Most High covered the daughter of Zion with a cloud in his anger and cast down from heaven unto the earth the beauty of Israel and remembered not his footstool in the day of his anger. Earth is his footstool, remember not the earth. Moses has swallowed up all the inhabitants of Jacob and have not pitied. He have thrown down. Don't that sound like a brother? I'm gonna throw down. He have thrown down in his wrath the strongholds of the daughter of Judah. He have brought them down to the ground. He have polluted the kingdom of the princes thereof. Come on, man. He have cut off in his fierce anger all the horn, the power of Israel. He has drawn back his right hand from before the enemy. Took it back. Instead of allowing to us get the victory of our enemies, he pulled his hand, right hand back from before the enemy. And he burned against Jacob like a flaming fire. Because he fired from his waist up and fired from his waist down. Which devoured around about. <laughs> he had bent his bow like an enemy. He stood with his right hand as an adversary. He stood as a Mashiach Yahweh the destroyer he's called, as an adversary, as an enemy against us, and slew all that were pleasant to the eye to in the tabernacle of the daughter of Zion. He poured out his fury like fire. The Most High was an enemy. He has swallowed up Israel. He has swallowed up all her palaces. He have destroyed his strongholds, his strongholds, you hear that? And have increased in the daughter of Judah, mourning and lamentation. That's a southern tribe, y'all. Judah is in Levi. And those of the other tribes that joined with us, had no sister join with us as we went through what we going through. Mostly, uh, most of the Old Testament talk about Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, and those other, of the other tribes, the nine tribes that joined themselves with us. He had violently taken away his tabernacle as it were a, of a garden. He have destroyed his palace, his places of the assembly. Everywhere we assemble, he destroyed it. This is the most high. Nobody giving him the credit for nothing. The most high have caused the solemn feast and Sabbath to be forgotten in Zion and have despised in the indignation of his anger, the king and the priest, man. That's sad, man. Just keep reading down, y'all. Just jump over to verse 20. Behold, O Most High, and consider to whom thou hast done this. Shall a woman eat their fruit and children or a span long? Shall a woman, you women, eat their fruit, their children and children of a span long? Shall a priest and a prophet be slain that may be killed in the sanctuary of the Most High? The young and the old lie on the...